AD, what are you doing here? As you can guess from the title, we're going to be doing a dorm tour today. It's kind of wild that this is the end of the year. This is really one of my last videos being here. So we get our own bathroom, we get our own kitchen and stuff, which is very much a privilege for a first year like me. Anyways, that is enough of me talking and now we will start with the tour. Yay! So we're gonna start over here in our wonderful kitchen. Wow, look how spacious and airy. I don't know what adjectives people use to describe kitchens. This is the refrigerator. As you can see, we have a full-size fridge. So up here is the freezer and then down here is the refrigerator. So we're pretty lucky with that and every room has one of these. Over here we have our whiteboard um, contributed by my wonderful roommate. <laughs> Before it was a lot more uh, um, belligerent what it was written on here about the shoes, but we do try to keep our shoes off. We do have wood floors. Anyways, here are some doodads and different things that are in over here. Um, this is like some events that were happening at Maxwell Theater. So that's the theater over at Somerville where they have like music performances and such. Up here is some of our cereal, dry foods and stuff. This is some vase. Oh no, the nose broke off. That's so sad. This is supposed to be a vase that my roommate made. Okay, over here we have my water pick. Normally it's not here, but I wanted to send this home. And over here we have some oil and then some vinegar. Not really for like eating per se, but I just use it for like cleaning every now and then because it's very good at taking away odors and things like that. This is my roommate's cooking supplies. And then here we have a stove and we also have an oven, which is really nice, but we just don't really use it. Oh my God, the dogs are out. So we do have an electric stove. They kind of smell weird, but you know, if it works, it works. We do have a fan and like a light up there, but the fan for us, I just don't really know if it does anything. So we've just kind of slacked on that. We just open the windows and such. Over here we have our towel. Down here is our pots and pans. We just like use it as extra storage because um, we both brought a lot of stuff. So over here we have, we have some gloves this is mostly stuff that i brought so plastic gloves and then we have some ziploc bags i think this is a gallon one sandwich over here we have some ikea clips and stuff like that which have actually really come in handy you have like cereal bags or like potato chips and things like that um for food so these are actually pretty helpful and then over here we have some plastic wrap and aluminum foil pro tip don't bring a huge amount of this these are like both pretty small versions that you would need i think when you come into college from high school and you come from having like a family but then it's like just you and your roommate or just yourself this is probably enough for both of you for like the entire year down here we have some potato a potato and onion my mom gave these to me the last time she visited and I haven't used them yet. Down here, some plastic bags. We just collect them because I think it's just out of habit. And we use them for like the trash bin and such because we have a smaller trash bin. Okay, and really quick tour of our fridge. It's kind of messy, I'm sorry. But we have some milk, apples. Um, down there I think are some of my produce. And then I had some kimchi over here, but I might need to throw it out. Over here we have some Izzy. And this is some of my roommate's food. Spices, spy, or buy. And for the freezer, I have some ice cream in here from my last Walmart trip. Over here I have some dumplings, um, frozen veggies for my roommate. This is rice, more frozen veggies. I have rice cakes over here. And then toast. Um, I think that's, I have steak in here somewhere. And then this is my ice cube maker. I wish I had a flexible one because I think it would be easier to like pop it out. Up in this cabinet we have a lot of our seasonings and spices. So over here you can see like my salt and both my roommate and I both drink matcha. And then some sesame oil. This is my roommate's red pepper. There's some sesame seeds back there and things like that. Up there, I'm very hesitant to open it, but that is our Tupperware <laughs> storage. Um, both of us brought a lot of Tupperware, so I'm just not going to open that. It's just a mess up there. And over here is our silverware. This is, these are all my cooking supplies. And then 
over here some straws and such like that some sponges for the sink the plastic silverware that i've accumulated over this year um it's just mostly for when no one wants to do the dishes and then these are my metal silverware and then down there is also similarly storage and then over here is like kind of where we keep our trash here's a sink here we have some food that's her side this is mostly my side i think there's sour patch up there i have i keep my tea and my coffee like around there but i don't really drink either that much so it's just kind of been sitting there over here i have some instant rice and then over here we have some chairs i sit here more than my desk really so normally this area is just cluttered but i cleaned it up just for you that's really it for the kitchen so over here to the side of the kitchen we have a lot of decorations and such most important part of the room in my opinion is our air conditioner slash heater control thingy now we shall move on to the bathroom mirror this is just my stuff, this is my contacts. Over here is like my toothbrush and stuff, and then my face wash is back there. It's my roommate stuff. Down here, I keep my laundry stuff up here, and then down there is like my roommate stuff. More of my roommate stuff is over there. The toilet. And we have like three trash cans in our room. It just ended up like that, so this one's our bathroom trash can. We're out of toilet paper right now, but my parents are on the way. Over here is like my towel. This is mostly all my stuff. You can tell who's the overpacker here. But this is like mostly my skincare and such like that, makeup remover, um, moisturizer, toner. And then over here is like mostly my makeup stuff. And sunscreen, which is very important. My lipstick, eyeshadow, this one, Bath and Body Works. Down there is like a lot of miscellaneous items like my hair clips and stuff like that, claw clips, alcohol wipes, cotton pads, things like that. Bath mat. Loki my favorite area because I don't have to think about things. My side, I have mostly just like my soap and shampoo this didn't come with the room you had to buy it yourself that's really it for the bathroom so now we're over here to see the bedroom area this is our cart i think my parents bought it online from ikea or something like that this is my favorite area actually of my bedroom i have snacks over here hot chocolate these are both korean snacks i really loved growing up and some crackers some chicken salad chick Pringles, gum. My friend bought some of these from Dubai, so crackers. And then here are some of my favorite snacks, Tylenol, Aleve, and some Chinese medicine for stomach cramps. Use them responsibly. I have some nail polish over here. Here's my phone stand thing. I think I have Kermit stickers under there that I've been meaning to use. I think those were from Secret Santa. And then over here, I bought some of these bags for making presents for some of the professional scholars for Christmas. All right, and moving on to the shelf. Over here is miscellaneous items. This is like some hand cream. I think that um, one of the MDs gave me for Secret Santa. Down here is some more food. I have Izzy down there because I'm low-key addicted. But this is mostly when I'm just too tired to go to the dining hall and I'm just too busy or something like that. Rice porridge. I've been saving it for a sick day or a day where I'm feeling really not energetic at all. And then over here, some chips that I've been meaning to finish. Down here is like my mat for yoga, and I brought some weights too, but I just haven't had the time to work out that much. Really, I haven't made the time to work out this semester. And then over here, I have stuffed animals. Yay! Over here are some posters that I have. I got these from Korea. Up there is some, this like, I forgot what it's called, like a pennant that I made. It was like a thing for like my grad party. And then over here is like my pillow. I got these, this sheet set from, not Amazon, Costco by the way. Costco does sell like twin XL. So over here is my dresser. I keep my pants like down here, the ones that I can fold at least, like the jeans and the shorts and things like that. And then down here are some shirts that I can also fold. Over here are my shoes. I have this shoe rack that I did buy from Amazon and it has like my sneakers and things like that because again we don't wear our shoes in our dorm back there is my suitcase for when i go home and then over there i keep my vacuum in there i bought that for actually at walmart for 50 dollars, so i actually recommend it's pretty good all right here's my desk i realize it's a little cluttered right now over here is like my projector i don't have a we don't have a tv some people do bring tvs but normally they take up like that entire counter back there 
so I don't know I think this is better use of space to be honest this is my laptop where all the magic happens where I will be editing all of this later and then over here is um, some school stuff in my iPad I got this here at a fair this week um, for spring fling calculator this is my stationary stuff I okay I'm gonna be really honest I haven't really used the highlighters that much because I just don't write that much like on paper anymore I mostly use my iPad because it's just so much better in terms of storage and things like that like I don't have like random papers flying around which I did in high school I might do a good notes tutorial one day and then over here is my lamp from home Ooh, my friend gave me this from Dubai again it's like some shampoo that I've been meaning to use like it's like a peach one that my mom gave me but I just mostly keep it because it's cute I haven't actually used it yet airpod case my hair clip I am normally not a big list girl, but today is a little bit chaotic, so I have written out what I want to do on paper for myself to see today. Apple charger, glasses, very important. Here is where it gets a little bit bad if it already hasn't. This is the inside of my desk. Or this is really like two separate things going on. This is a shelf that came with the dorm. My earrings are on top of my Arduino. If that doesn't make me a STEM girly, I really don't know what does. Oh my god, my leg. Over there is my Kleenex tape. My keyboard that I've been meaning to use, but again, I just don't really have the space on my desk. Some notebooks, planners down here. <laughs> it's a lot of my lab handouts and things like that that I had to print. And then stickers. My planner that I've been meaning to use. Kindle, but I don't think I've charged it. One of the main things to learn from here is that you shouldn't overpack especially if you're close to home you can just go go get it whenever you want down here are some stuff that wouldn't fit in the shelves and stuff so i have some napkins i have my physics workbook and i have two paintings that i made actually here are some paintings that i did recently this one's a capybara one if you can't tell i hope you can tell and you're here you know the rat chewing video or something like that that's what this is that concludes my tour of the desk and of course my very very cutie jerry and I have a monkey lamp back there that you can't see. Also gifted to me by a high school friend for graduation. It's a little chick that I got from Adopt a Chick. Look at He's a little messed up, but it's all right. More miscellaneous things. Jerry, my friend, gave me this, but I actually did not stick this on the back of my phone. I'm so sorry. It's just there for decoration. Me and Jerry. This is a cute little doodad that my friend from high school gave me as well. Also, this is my smaller blanket that I use. And then here's my roommate side. It's You can tell who's the most organized out of the two of us. And for the grand finale, here's our closet. This side, this way, is my stuff. And that side, that way, is her stuff. I mostly just like hang up my jackets, sweaters. Things that won't really fit in the dresser or get wrinkled and such. The clothes hangers you can buy from Walmart. Up there, there's my winter blanket that I just washed and I'm probably gonna send home with my parents today. Over here is just all my stuff that wouldn't fit otherwise. Up top is my hoodie, some shirts. I try to actually store them inside out and then fold them like that because I'm the type of person who tries to dry their hair with cotton t-shirts and so these are a couple cotton t-shirts that i wouldn't really wear on a regular basis so i just take these and i dry my hair with them and then here are two of my towels i have three bath towels and i think that's that's a good amount if i get lazy with laundry and such then i'd still have like two more towels and my hats bags that i don't really use on a regular basis but like i break out every now and then Back here are some towels that I have. And here is my laundry basket. I literally washed my clothes like two days ago and then it's already filling up again. There's normally a mountain going on up here. And trash can. All right, so that concludes our tour. I hope that it was informational and helpful and all those things because I know that I was really confused as a college student moving in. I think my number one advice, not that anyone asked for it, my number one advice is to just not overpack especially if you are moving somewhere that's not too far from home or you know that there's like a target or a walmart nearby that you can access no matter what's on your dorm shopping list you know you'll eventually figure it out and as much as you prepare it i don't really think that anything can really prepare you for living with someone starting to become more independent and live by yourself 
So I guess my number one advice is to just enjoy, enjoy the journey. Don't worry, you'll adapt, you'll find friends, you will figure things out. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. And I will see you for the next video. Good luck. Bye.